In the summer of Tav Shinun, summer of 1990, I had the big schools to be sent by the Rebbe to Kharkov, then was still the Soviet Union. When we came to the city, so right away, people were wondering how long we came for. People did not understand, they couldn't believe that we we're gonna stay here for a long time. And I remember that right away, we started making the kindergarten and the school, and we were surprised by the willing of the people to send their kids to get Jewish education. And little by little, we realized that our job was not to interfere with the blessings of Hashem in order to rebuild this great place. Hashem, we were able to build over there a gigantic Jewish community, a big synagogue, a big school, cheder, and yeshiv Tana, and yeshiv gedoylo, and all the things that a Jewish community needs. I remember five o'clock in the morning opening the window. We couldn't believe to hear, are there bombs outside? And we hear there were bombs outside, there were bombing. And I'm there together with my wife and my kids. And little by little, instead of just being a shliach, which puts some feeling with everybody and davens with everybody and puts mezuzahs, we started right away a gigantic operation of humanitarian help to give food and shelter to people. And this was an unbelievable turning point in our job, in our shlichud. But we understand that the Rebbe sent us on these shlichus to help every single Jew on what they need. From Kharkov, I cannot go to different cities. I cannot go elsewhere because people want to see me. People want to see that, that the community is with them. Come to gain the Nizmer Kuf Chofalash. And so that the Inglagamre is still in it. Then comes I na heche ki chase ore to rofle ur va rofle yumi. So the same valbo sein eider er gita kuk or der eider er weis was stating mizme kuf chof alef in sefer tili. Kum zu a shmire me yuchedes. A hine le yonen ve le yishen shemir isro. Und a noch stetes in a neifen von le shonisi but the father's daffy is zok min a dover borer as bi me kum ta fili in a bira miktu ne bira miktu gufe kum nach tsri in yon en bil teri tsui veis min glar di far zichel un gund a aptochi gmur at biz avadois gmuro as le yon un ve le yish en shei min isro The hardest thing for a shliach is not to be able to be together with his community the shliach is attached and connected to his community and the, and the future of the community is the future of the shliach. I have people in Kharkov now. I have people in the synagogue now. And I know they're risking their life. And so I feel that I should be with them. When the bomb failed, or the missile failed, two houses away from my house, and we smelled already the burning, and the kids and, and the family already had a lot of fear, we decided to send the kids away, and me and my wife to stay. But that Wednesday morning, when the van came to take away the kids with the, with the suitcases, was falling and falling and falling, the bombs next to the house, next to the shul. So my wife told me, you know, gotta go. So we, we went and we were saying Tfilat Derech and over there it says that if you plan to come back soon, you say V'sachzireinu L'Shalom. I remember with my kids and my wife, all the body, in the car, was saying V'sachzireinu L'Shalom, that we are planning to go back, we are leaving, but we are planning to go back. I went to the Aron Kodesh in the big shul and I gave a kiss to the paroiches and I said, Mitz Hashem, we are going now, but we are coming back till Moshiach is going to come. The Rebbe send us there, let the Rebbe tell us that it's time to leave. Till then, we are waiting for the first moment that we should be able to reunite with the Kharkov Jewish community.